Oke, okay. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hello everyone, thank you for coming to this presentation. Oke, okay, let me introduce myself. My name is Amrullah Ikhwan, a medical student of Med medicine faculty Bengkulu University. The Honorable Dr. Wiswa Yunita, MPD, uh, as an uh, lecture, English lecture, and to all participants. So, today I will try to present the medical journal with title Improving the Impact of Non Pharmaceutical Intervention During COVID 19, Examining the Factor that influence engagement and the impact on individuals. Uh, this journal, the author of this journal is Holy Cell, Claire A. F. Dyer, Ikram Abdi, Kazi M. Rahman, Yani Sun, Muhammad al Chris, Alexander Double Day, Jonathan Swart, and M. Saiful Islam. This journal was published by BMC Infection Disease, and it is telling citation of the original journal. Okay, next slide. Background. Since the first report about a novel strain of coronavirus first acute respiratory syndrome coronavirus 2, SARS-CoV-2, emerging in December 2019, and pharmaceutical intervention in PIS, including physical distancing, isolation, and mass use main flatten the peak in community. However, this strategy really on community understanding and motivation to engage to ensure co appropriate compliance and impact. The aim of the journal to support current activity for COVID-19. The objectivity of this narrative review was to identify the key determinant impacting on engagement. Next slide. The methods, uh, the search strategy. This study involved an integrative narrative review focused on NPIS. The eligibility criteria, research publication in English on Medline, PubMed, Scopus, and Google Scholar for the period between 1 January 2000 and to March uh, 5, 2020. The screening and analyzing analysis plan. A data extraction form was developed by HS and applied to the identified study so that there a level of consistency in the approach. The result. The result revealed that there are a range of demographic, social, and physiological factors underpinning engagement with quarantine. Call closers and personal protective behaviors. The, influ the influencing factor are, uh, the first is low knowledge or understanding about this NPI strategy in the community. The second is low willpower to follow through intervention. Conflicting information about school closure from different sources. Employed in a public facing occupation, occupation e.g. retail transportation or service roles or within health age or community and child care that prevents physical distancing the five financial ramification for taking time of work the six is uh, misinformation and rumors spread via social media and other networks low level of trust the information being given by local health authorities. And the last point is, there is a gender or age response impacting on compliance with hygiene measures. Okay, uh, this is the uh, last section of this presentation. Conclusion, it is important that we acknowledge that these strategies will have an impact on an individual and the community. By understanding the barriers, we can identify what strategy need to be adopted to modify individual and improve community complaints using a behavioral framework to plan intervention based on these key barriers. 
We also ensure countries implement appropriate and target responses. Okay, maybe that's all I can present about this journal. Thank you for attention. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.